This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and Far Harbor for Fallout 4 is finally here. And today I have my very first weapon analysis review or whatever we want to call it for the harpoon gun that got added to the far harbor dlc some of you will probably remember at the launch of fallout 4 there is this harpoon gun and basically what that was is that mod uh basically kind of copied this model that existed in the game's files onto a railway rifle uh, to kind of like fire harpoons and it was kind of cool now with the far harbor dlc bethesda actually added a harpoon gun into the game that's legit and is part of the far harbor dlc now i'm gonna go ahead here and i'm gonna give my opinions on this gun uh and honestly they're mixed. I will say this to sum up everything real quickly for you all. For normal mode, guys, you're going to love this gun. For survival mode, guys, you may want to pass. But enough of me blabbering on here. So it currently appears that you can only load one harpoon at a time, even with the flechette upgrade. Uh, now, this gun is affected by the heavy weapons perk, and the base damage is 150, which is the same as the missile launcher, which is a gun that most of you all are probably familiar with. Now, what this thing does is it fires a large harpoon that deals a lot of damage, um, and it weighs about 16.3 pounds stock and 19.2 pounds when fully upgraded. And upgrading the harpoon type doesn't affect weight, however, upgrading the scope does. This weapon is estimated to be valued at about 205 bottle caps. Uh, scopes increase value. Um, upgrading the projectiles, however, does not. Um, now, the most valuable scope upgrade is going to be the standard sight, which scores at 250 bottle caps. Uh, the long range scope is about 240 bottle caps. Uh, when upgrading the harpoon gun, damage doesn't increase. However, you can choose between the standard harpoons, the flechette, which is like this shotgun harpoon thing. It just shoots a bunch of spikes. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then there's the barbed harpoon, which adds bleed damage. Now your flechette upgrade is going to require gun nut perk level one, and the barbed harpoon upgrade is going to require gun nut upgrade level three. Now for you survival players out there, uh, bleed damage may or may not help you at all. Um, personally, in my experiences, I actually managed to find like a wounding combat rifle and it didn't really make a huge difference. So it may not make a difference, but I can't say because I don't know your build. Now I managed to find one of these on a trapper or raider enemy in Far Harbor by the name of Bilge. And he's kind of like a mini boss type enemy. He's not really a boss, He's, but he is a unique NPC that you have to kill. Um, though I can suspect that you find them in other places in Far Harbor as well. Um, now, this particular NPC by the name of Bilge is located on the SNS Azalea, which is a ship kind of on the lower, kind of on the eastern part of the map. Um, now, if you do the Mariner's Quests, uh, you should end up killing him anyway, so at least that's how I got it. Um, that's probably the easiest way for you to remember. Now, let's talk about what makes or breaks this weapon for you, and that is going to be the Harpoon Ammo. Uh, now, Harpoon Ammo is valued at about one bottle cap per pound, and first off, I've got to say, this is incredible, as this is going to be an ammo type you will want to purchase from vendors, uh, as you're getting 150 damage per bottle cap spent. Higher if you have points invested in the heavy guns perk. Uh, now, this is better than rail spike ammo, as you have the potential to deal more damage per shot, um, and get better damage per bottle cap spent because the railway rifle does about 100 damage and the railway spikes also are one bottle cap. And this is where things start to turn sour. Um, harpoons weigh about 0.2 pounds each and this means that you should be able to carry about five harpoons per pound uh, and this should bring your total damage expenditure per pound value to about 750 damage per pound of ammo that you shoot with this thing. Now this number is pretty bad and this is about on par with the shotgun shells and the rail spikes and other lousy ammo types that are in survival mode. Sort of like the railway rifle, um, 
the harpoon gun is going to suffer a similar problem in survival mode because both ammo types weigh the same and both ammo types weigh a lot. That said, it is worth mentioning that the harpoon gun is going to be better in terms of total damage expenditure per pound. However, the low mag size may also turn you off as you're going to have lower DPS. Now, my verdict for the harpoon gun is, like I said earlier, this is going to be an excellent weapon to use if you play mostly from like normal difficulty to very hard difficulty um, or just in a difficulty where ammo weight isn't a factor. Now, once ammo weight is considered, uh, the harpoon gun, it kind of sucks. Now, I think what Bethesda wanted to do is make a weapon that was like the railway rifle, but for heavy weapons users. And in that sense, this is a good alternative. Uh, the only problem is that you only get one bullet in the magazine. Though at the same time, that shouldn't be a problem if you manage to find a never-ending harpoon gun. However, as this weapon Weapon would greatly benefit from that legendary weapon effect. If you're familiar with the uh, double barrel shotgun with a never ending weapon effect, or the fat man with a never ending weapon effect, it's going to be like that and it's going to be awesome. Now, I'm not far enough in the DLC to say yet, but it is possible there may also be a legendary version of this particular weapon. There also could be a unique weapon that also uses harpoon ammo more effectively, and that may bring our total damage expenditure per pound values for harpoon ammo up a little bit. Now, the harpoon gun itself is worth about 12.5 bottle caps per pound. Uh, now, this is fairly average for most heavy weapons, as most tend to be worth roughly like 9 to 13 bottle caps per pound. So in that sense, it is on the high end. Uh, however, I think if you are going like, to try to hunt these down to resell them, you're really better off reselling Gatling lasers or Fat Man launchers that you casually find throughout your journeys. So just to reiterate everything here and all of the points that I've uh, mentioned, um, for normal mode, guys, this is going to be the weapon for you, especially if you have the heavy weapons perk. Uh, for, for survival mode, guys, you may want to pass on the harpoon gun. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care and I'll see you all next time.